Aquaman, directed by James Wan, marks the first solo big-screen debut for the iconic DC hero, and it delivers a visually stunning and epic adventure. Jason Momoa stars as Arthur Curry, a half-human, half-Atlantean, who initially rejects his Atlantean heritage due to his mother's supposed death at the hands of her people. Wan's direction provides a vibrant and colorful vision of Atlantis, depicting a world filled with various underwater kingdoms and races, each unique in its design. The film successfully blends fantasy and superhero elements, creating an immersive underwater realm that is both fantastical and full of grandeur. The plot kicks off with Arthur's hatred for Atlantis, but his journey becomes personal when his half-brother, King Orm, Patrick Wilson, wages war on the surface world. Arthur is forced to confront his destiny and return to Atlantis to claim the throne. Along the way, he faces Black Manta, Yahya Abdul-Mateen II, a vengeful pirate whose father died because of Arthur's actions. Black Manta, though not the main antagonist, brings personal stakes and provides some of the film's most exciting action sequences. His motivations are clear, but his character doesn't get as much depth as one might hope, leaving him as more of a side villain. One of the film's highlights is the visual portrayal of Atlantis. The vibrant colors, stunning landscapes, and various underwater creatures give life to a world we've never seen before on this scale. Wan's use of CGI to depict battles, underwater environments, and even large-scale creatures like the Kraken is impressive, though at times it can feel a bit overwhelming. The film's scope is massive, from underwater duels to large-scale battles involving armies riding sea creatures. Each kingdom, from the trenches terrifying cannibals to the peaceful fishermen, adds richness to the world building. As Arthur struggles to come to terms with his Atlantean heritage, the central conflict comes in the form of his brother Orm, who seeks to unite the underwater kingdoms to wage war against the surface. Their sibling rivalry is compelling, with Arthur initially resisting his call to the throne. However, the film loses some emotional depth by not fully exploring this conflict. Orm's motivations, while understandable, lack nuance, reducing him to a more traditional villain archetype. The film's middle act takes Arthur and Mira, Amber Heard, on an Indiana Jones-style quest, where they explore ancient ruins and face dangerous creatures. The journey leads Arthur to the hidden location of the Trident of Atlan, a powerful artifact he must claim to prove his worthiness as the true king. Along the way, they face the terrifying creatures of the Trench, a cannibalistic race of ocean dwellers. This segment of the film is visually striking and adds an unexpected horror element, showcasing Juan's background in the horror genre. One of the climactic moments of the film is when Arthur faces the Kraken, a massive sea creature that he must overcome to claim the trident. This trial is a symbolic turning point for Arthur, who finally accepts his role as Atlantis's rightful king, the final battle between Arthur and Orm is visually spectacular, set against the backdrop of an underwater war between massive armies. The CGI heavy battle is thrilling, with Arthur donning the classic Aquaman suit and wielding the trident in all its glory. Despite its many strengths, Aquaman does have some flaws. The pacing is uneven, and at times the film can feel overstuffed with subplots and side characters. The dialogue is occasionally cheesy, and the romantic chemistry between Arthur and Mira feels a bit forced. However, the sheer spectacle and fun nature of the film overshadow these issues.